Today I'm going to show you how to put DVDs onto your iPod. If you're like me, you have hundreds of DVDs laying around your house and you want to be able to put them on your iPod so you can watch them wherever you go. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to google.com Oh, and uh, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to Team Texas YouTube page. All right, now go to Google and type in vid or ia iPod converter, and it should be the first one right here. This is what the page should look like. Just click download now. Just take about two minutes. All right. Now, what? Once that is done, open it up, and now you got to get a DVD decryptor. But this is nice enough to give us a link to one. All right. And when you first when you first open it up, it's going to ask you what type of iPod you have. You just click which one you have, but you can always change it by going to settings and device. Alright, so what you want to do is you're going to want to go to DVD right here. Right here, underneath this little convert thing on the home page. Click on DVD. And uh, the second one. The first one uh, doesn't work. It doesn't load up the page like it got deleted. So, go to the second one. This is what it should look like. Alright, now sometimes there will be a big green button right here. That is not what you want to download. That's for whatever this thing is right here. Click the download button right here. And that should also take about 30 seconds not very long at all alright so once that's done open up your DVD and put in your DVD and you see all this stuff right here what you're going to, go to, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to mode and click IFO mode then go to tools go down to settings go to IFO mode settings take file splitting to none what this is going to do is it's going to keep it all into uh, one file instead of taking or making different chunks of the file. And then you want to go to Stream Process and click Enable Stream Process. Now you can only have one video and one audio. There should only be one video there anyway, so that's fine. So just leave that checked. And then I speak English, of course, so I'm going to leave the English one checked. But if you speak Spanish or French, leave one of those checked but so I'm gonna uncheck everything else for the, there's showing me the video file and the English and then you're going what what I do is I created a folder on the desktop for this uh, movie right here born identity and so what, what I did is I just went to browse under destination and went down to the born identity and then so once you got that you want to click uh, decrypt that should take about oh crap. that should take about um, 30 minutes so go grab yourself a snack Sorry, I don't know what that was. Okay, so once that's done, open up Vidoria iPod Converter. And click on this little tab right here. Just convert. And then go to Video File. And if you understand what all this stuff is, for I think it's to put it on um, different things. It is Familiar with digital video. Well, yeah. Anyway, I don't use I just use normal mode because it just gives you 
create video right to your iPod. Alright, so select the file and open up your video file. And I also created in my Born Identity file a converted videos thing. You'll see why later. But what you're looking for is something like this that says like VTS. So open that up. And then click next. Oh, well. Also, uh, your output directory, that's what that uh, converted videos thing is for. And then give it a title. So I'll put born identity. And then click next. Now, uh, make sure the video format is to new, video size, iPod video quality the uh the lower the quality the faster the uh whatever you want converters converting speed will be but for the hold on sorry about that dog wanted out but for the uh i like to have my best quality because it just looks really nice Make sure you have enhanced quality on, and I just leave audio quality the same, just on high. I'll click next, and then the final step is start converting. You can watch it the process by click watch conversion process right there, and it takes about 40 minutes to an hour and a half to, to finish converting, and that is how. Oh, and one more thing. That's and it's also nice enough to put it right into iTunes for you. Now you know what kind of music I listen to, also. All right, and yep, there it is, right there. Born Identity. And that is how you get a DVD onto your iPhone. And thanks for watching. And come back, and I will have more tutorials posted along with uh, other game videos.